Hi, Pisces. This is Tarot Heifer 11. It's a new moon. It's the end of February 2023. So I'm going to do a new moon child vibe. Just a little quick tarot reading for us. We're going to go through a new lunar cycle. We're going to welcome in Pisces season. So happy birthday in advance. And as the season comes in, we get an array of new beginnings. The new moon feelings are... And it's a particularly ideal time for self-reflection, course correction, and goal setting. Let's get some guidance and remember to take what resonates, yet leave the rest behind, please. I'm just going to pull five cards. We've got the Six of Wands and the Fool. Full of confidence. Your free-spirited Pisces self sets off with someone new. Or alone. Yes and yes. Some of you with someone new, some of you alone. Okay, great. How's that going? Okay. This fear, someone got scared here. Okay. So we got the moon in reverse, but the sun upright. And Pisces gently backs off and walks. So maybe it was just a feeling that something isn't right. This is uh, leaving someone bewildered. And as you are happy and this person is troubled, linked together to dependent. Pisces feels better apart from this person. Way better. Wow, recently Pisces won a competition in public. Congratulations. I see a Pisces who is on top of the world, undefeated champion, and so strong. Congratulations. We are the best one. I see a fiery, passionate romance, too. Someone that can match your confidence and someone who can keep their composure. Nice. Well, you will be looking for somebody like that, won't you? Somebody that can keep their composure. <laughs> yeah, if you're single. No worries. Stay single, Spirit says. Through the tarot. If you're single, no worries. <coughs> Stay single. Awesome. Looking good, guys. All right, I have a little more energy to read for you, but right now I'm going to ask you to hit the like button, help my algorithm. It's completely anonymous. It doesn't cost you anything, but if you do want to become a member and subscribe to the channel, you guys know what to do. Check back for more readings in the future and check back, you know, look into the past for some of the readings that I've done for you in the past. I see this energy in somebody who is in a very much their leadership role is increasing. Your power of attraction is increasing. And there is a lot of positivity being expressed. And people will actually be willing to follow you. So this is a good vibe. Yes, I like that. Leo Uranus. Uh, there's always a warmth around this person, somebody else, this new person coming in. Nevertheless, this combination brings a pleasant friendliness. Self-confidence uh, is considerably helped from somebody here. And especially if somebody else is being shy or inhibited. Um, this is very creative energy. Creative person who is very dashing and has a nice original flair. And then somebody else coming in. We see... This will complete your journey. And this journey was completed something about the year 2011. Very important for somebody in this reading about 2011. I don't know what that means, but it has something to do with children. And then somebody's child was born before, if you are a Pisces who was born before 2011, which I think most of you were who's watching this, um, you're in that generation that has a lot of hope and optimism anyways because of the planet Uranus. So you're going to be very eager to take action where people that are older than you are going to be more reluctant 
So really, I guess what it's trying to say is if you are a much older Pisces, you're going to be more reluctant. Spirit says, don't have any fear if you're single. Things are going to work out. We see somebody coming in who can keep their shit together and you might just meet them. But in the meantime, keep your composure. You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, there is an indication of something chiming in uh, very well with those born since 1996. When Uranus was centered in its own sign, we have Aquarius. While the expression of so if you are on the cusp, Spirit saying this is a very different. There will be good results as you get older. Okay, so the very, very, very opposite. If you're born on the cusp and you're older, you're going to be okay. It shouldn't be as hard, but if you're older, you're going to have a harder time with this, Pisces. And, um, and, and then again, stay single, no worries. No worries. Fiery, passionate romance just might be coming your way. Okay? So we'll hold out and we'll wait and see how that goes. I got the Three of Wands energy laying up here looking at me. All 12 readings today. Waiting for our ship to come in. Finding a safe place. And maybe that's what I needed to tell Pisces as we wrap this segment up on our new moon for the new lunar cycle. And it's your birthday coming up. So I'll give you that one for free as your birthday. And, you know, just find your safe place. Kick back. It's going to be all right. Let's do some self-reflection, some course correction, and set some goals. You should always start out that way on your birthday. That's when you really need to start your new year. So if you screwed up your January 1st, 2023 resolutions, you can start a new one on your birthday. And you can make sure that we do it different this time. And, you know, it'll probably work out a lot better because I think you have a much more positive attitude now than we did a few months ago. If you're feeling that vibe, Right on, right on. Hit my like button. Again, if you want to become a member, you know what to do. Um, good luck in your love lives. Good luck in all facets of your life. Check my videos in the recent past that I've done for Pisces. If you want to cross watch, um, feel free to do that for some of your other significant placements in your birth charting. And then if you want to check me out in the near future, please do. I can't wait to read for you again. And until next time, Shalom.